Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, we are going to be working with some of these tumbler blocks from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, they have the really large ones now. This one has 72 blocks. So what I'm going to do with these blocks is build a tray. You can use it to hold candles, um, just about anything. So let's just get started. Go ahead and open the blocks. Now you can use wood glue to glue these blocks together, but instead of using wood glue today, I'm going to use this clear Gorilla Glue. And you can also use the other Gorilla Glue that I use as well. Okay, so now I have a sheet of parchment paper from Dollar Tree. You can also use wax paper. Either one will work. Okay, so the thing that I'm going to do is take 16 blocks and glue them together. And I want to glue them in a straight line, as straight as possible. So I'm just going to take some glue and put it here. Put that there. Hold it on the top. And hold them down and press them together. Same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to glue 16 more on this side. So this time around, we'll need to add glue here and here. Now these blocks are not all exactly the same size so it won't be a perfect line up but it lines up well enough to create this tray. So I'm going to allow this to dry for about a half an hour then I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys I'm back so you just peel this off the back. And now I'm just going to fold it because there's some residue here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add five of these blocks on the side, like one in the middle and two on each side, like so. Okay, so I actually think 16 is too much. So let's see if we can take two blocks off. Let's just go ahead and remove two blocks. So 15 blocks now on each side. Okay, so that's much better. <laughs> All right, so let's go with 15 blocks. So let's just go ahead and put some glue here. Just on half the block. And on this side as well. On each side. Now I'll do the same thing on this side and come back. Okay guys, so now I've completed this side. I wanna go ahead and put a block here and here. So I'm just going to put some half weight on this block. Okay, so we're almost done building our tray. So what I want to do now is just add a block here, here, and on either side here. But this time you want to saturate the entire side of the block and put it right next to the one in the center. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'll let this completely dry. After that, I'll take it outside and spray paint the entire thing. So, Okay, so let's move on to DIY number two. I'm making a three-piece dispenser set to display on the tray. I saw this on TikTok or I don't know if it was a YouTube story. I saw where somebody took plain bottles like this from Dollar Tree and turned them into something really sleek and glam and modern looking. So I want to try and do that same thing. I found some black bottles and I found some white bottles. Now the thing that I need to do first is decide if I want to keep the contents. This one says shampoo and this one says hydrating conditioner. I'm not sure if I want to keep those. So what I'm going to do is I have some cups here and I'm sure I have some other glass containers somewhere that I can use as well. So I might find those eventually. And this one is lotion. Now, as for this one, we have relaxed, refreshing, mint, eucalyptus lotion. And I really do like the way it feels and I like the fragrance. So I do want to keep this. Initially, I bought it only for the pump, but I really do like the fragrance. So what I'm going to do is remove this top and put it here. And then I'm going to squeeze as much lotion as I can out of it. Whatever I can't get out, I guess I can squeeze it out. So I have three black jars and three white jars. So all I need to do is remove the labels. So I'm going to take some acetone to see if I can remove the writing. Removed it right off, perfect. <laughs> all right, so now I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Just go ahead and remove the label. If you have any sticky residue, just use the label to remove it. And again, I'll wipe this down with some acetone as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of what's on the inside. Pour that out. I might be able to use the shampoo as hand wash. So we'll see. So now I'll go ahead and remove the label and the contents from the other two white bottles and the other two black bottles. Then I'll rinse them out completely. I'll do the same thing with the pump. I'll make sure that it's completely clean. Once that's done, I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, so here we have our six bottles, our three white and our three black bottles. And I have my acetone again. So I'm gonna put some acetone on this towel and just wipe it down. You want to get all of the stickiness off, anything that could possibly be on there. And I've already cleaned these. I just want to show you how to do it. You just want to get it all nice and clean. If you don't have acetone, you can also use alcohol. You might have to put a little bit more muscle into it, but it'll be fine. Now we need to figure out how we want to decorate our bottles. And you don't want to do a whole lot because this is going to be a clean, sleek look. Now, if you want to go overboard and bling, 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 you can, but we're not going to do that today. I want to show you some options that I found at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has these chalkboard stickers. As you can see, they come in two different packs with different designs. I don't like the idea of this one, but it seems a little small. Naturally, I wouldn't like that one. So maybe this one, maybe something like that. Yeah, let's try that one. Honestly, you could do all three bottles, different designs if you want. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to change my card. Okay, so let's grab this again. And you just want to eyeball it. Let's just try this one and see if we like it. Which design do you guys like best? Let's just leave it like that for now. Now if you want to add some bling, I have two options here. We have some mirror tile and we have some of the diamond bling. In my mind, I already know I want to use the diamond bling. I think it's going to be really pretty on there. It would be really pretty on the white as well. Get an idea what the mirror tile looks like on there. really don't like that look for this bottle. And the cool thing about this diamond bling 
it comes in a lot of different colors. So I like the idea of it being on here. Just go ahead and cut it. Make sure you trim off that excess glue. Just like that, I really like that look. I went ahead and grabbed all the pumps and as you can see, they are all completely clean. When you're cleaning these, just use a really strong stream of hot water and then pull this off like that and let the hot water run through there, okay? And when it runs through there, you can use like um, a straw cleaner or you can even use a pipe cleaner from Dollar Tree to completely clean them out. And then you wanna clean the inside out as well, okay? So I will put this on here. And this is what you have so far. And I think I do wanna add some bling around the neck of it. We're gonna add some bling to these two. And I'm gonna add some on the other side of the white just to give you an idea what it looks like on the white as well. Okay guys, so here's all three with my bling labels. Now what you can do is go to like Michael's and find some bling letters and put it over the label if you want to or you can leave it like that. Now you can use this every day or you can just use it as decor. Now if you decide to do that, you can still add some bling around the neck. I really like the way that looks. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and put some bling around the neck. And we're going to put it directly in the center. Oh yeah, that really makes a big difference. I like the way it looks. Now, off camera, I went ahead and added some bling to the white, just like I said I would. And this is what it looks like with the white. So you can have either look. If you want to, you can just use your chalk and right here on the back what's inside and just display this side if you want to. And you can do the same thing with this one as well. So that's probably what I'll do until I get my bling letters and put them on top of my bling label. So yeah, that's an idea as well. See what it looks like with the white. Now, if you can find a white pump, that would be great, but right now, this is all I have, but these are the two looks. For your guys, and to fill it up, I would just put the pump back inside the original container and just pump the lotion back in. You can actually do this before you even put the design or the labels on there. Or you can get a lotion that's a little bit more liquidy than this, so it's up to you. And here's my tray. I've just spray painted it silver. I did spray paint the bottom, but I could always add like some felt to it if I wanted to make it more professional. But I think I'm going to add some little rubber feet to it. Although I spray painted the silver, I'm still going to cover it with some mirror towels. And the reason I spray painted it silver is because the mirror towels may not cover the whole entire thing. I didn't want the color of the pale wood to shine through it would actually affect the look so having a silver background if the mirror doesn't cover it you won't notice it so much so what i'm going to do is just line this up and it's going to take about three rows of the mirror towel to cover the sides so i'm going to go ahead and pull this over and cut three rows of the mirror towel so i'm going to line this up and you see I have a little bit of a space here. Now this mirror towel has adhesive on the back, but I'm going to add a little bit of Gorilla Glue to make this permanent. And now I'll just start from the corner and lay it down. Now you see I have a little bit of an opening there. I'll close that in later with some more bling if I need to. Same thing on this side. Now 
Okay, and that's how that looks. I'll do it on the side as well. Okay, so now I need to come all the way around. I'm done adding the mirror towel here, here, all the way around. So now I'll do this side in the top off camera and then come back. I'm done trimming my tray with the mirror towel. Now it would be nice if I could find a nice mirror piece to go on the inside. You can even cover the inside with bling. But I want the whole tray to be mirror. So I have a larger piece of the mirror towel that I'm gonna use to put on the inside. And I'll leave a link to the seller that I use. You get a lot of the mirror towel for the price. So yeah, I'll go ahead and measure and then um, put that down. So now I'll put some glue down and then glue the mirror towel in place. This is why I painted it silver. Now I could add some mirror towel in there if I wanted to, but I really don't want to. Because of how the mirror towels are, sometimes you have some space. This is why I spray painted silver, so it's not that noticeable. I'm done with my tray, so I'm going to let it sit for about an hour, come back and put everything together and let you see what it looks like. And as promised, here's my black three-piece soap and lotion dispenser set. It's beautiful, elegant, and very inexpensive. And here's my completed white set. And as you can see, I added some black bling around the label to give it a more finished look. And let's not forget our beautiful tray. I did add some rubber feet to the bottom of the tray to protect it from water or any other liquid that might get on the countertop. Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you all enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.